Welcome to Circuit Valley. I'm Gaurav. In front of you, you see this massive behemoth of a board. This is called Xilinx ZCU102, Xilinx Ultra Scale Plus Zinc SOC FPGA board. And this behemoth of a board has many features. One of the features it has, which you also find on really high end FPGA boards, they do not have a 0.1 inch header for expansion or peripheral connections. They have this really complicated and really behemoth of a connector. These connectors are called FMC connectors. They exist FMC plus as well. This board happened to have only FMC connectors and these two and it also happened to have two of them and these both of them are FMC HPC connectors and this board I would want to connect something to this. I would like to connect some peripheral to this board for example cameras and everything else as you can see this board has many features and many, perif many peripherals but it does not have it does not have many high speed ADC not, nor does it have very specific cameras or or uh, SSD interface or any other high speed interface so to be able to connect anything to these this board you need some kind of PCB or some kind of these are called FMC carrier boards or something like that so I have designed a small little PCB and this PCB I'll show you this is the PCB and this PCB fits like this here and we have connected the HPC. We have connected the HPC. We have connected the FMC HPC board. This little PCB which I designed. It is the FMC LPC breakout board. These FMC connectors they come in two versions. I'll show you what's the difference between both of the versions in a second. And this little PCB it breakouts all the LPC connections onto these 1.27 millimeter header. There are ground connections available and there's a little bit prototyping area. On the back of this board, let me show you. On the back of this board also, there's not much. The same connections are available on the front and back. And you see there's a little EEPROM. This makes it compatible to specification of FMC. I'll show you and talk a little bit more detail. So in front of you, you see these two boards. As I told you before, these both of the connectors are FMC connectors. And you see, let me zoom in a bit so that you can see it better. Now you can see, you see it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rows of contacts on both of the connectors. Both of them are same connectors. And let me show you that how many rows of contact LPC has. LPC has only 4 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4. Only 4 rows of connectors. So this is the difference between FMC and LPC. This is the difference between FMC, HPC and LPC connections. This breakout board is meant only for the high speed connection but not the very very high speed connection which modern FPGA nowadays have. I have also one another board which breakouts the which breakouts all the connections HPC and LPC and it breaks them out onto the SMA connectors rather than these point rather than these 1.27 millimeter header. So you plug this in. like this and you will have access to all the LPC connections including the power lines here and we adjust this EEPROM which is mounted on the back side you can program your custom board information and custom V adjust voltage onto this EEPROM which allows you to get your whatever the V adjust voltage you want from the primary board from the system management controller and this board allow you to access all the information and all the connections which you want. With this thing in your hand, you will be able to connect to all the pins, access all the data and do whatever you want. This is how both of them connect. They are specifically designed according to the VITA standard. They are specifically designed according to FMC VITA standard and they break out all the pins. You can also probe all the pins, whatever you want to probe, right on the vias or on these pads. And all the connections are also available on these individual headers, including many, many ground connections. This board is an eight layer PCB. You can see the marking seven and B. And if I show you the other way around, and this is top two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up to eight. And it's an eight layer PCB. All the signals are appropriately routed in differential configuration. They are length match, impedance controlled and all the fancy bells and whistles. So LPC connections, all the LPC connections you get onto the header. This is how the board looks. 8 layer PCB, 
very well designed very well made from bottom to top looks really nice and I'll show you the PCB layer now I'll show you the schematic on the PC let's go to the PC I get started by showing you the connector itself this is the HPC connector so it has all the row populated and this is my breakout board PCB and you can see on the bottom it has eight layer top layer is for signal and right next layer is ground reference and after that I have an internal signal layer and you can see these are appropriately connected differential pair and every row is length match to every row so they are length match within this row and within this row within this row so as long as you use same row you will have same length this is the EEPROM connection and this EEPROM connection shows you where the EEPROM connector is and it is getting powered from 3.3 3 aux and it can adjust this this allows you to do adjustment to be adjust and everything else it, it also makes you compatible to uh, what do you call it uh, to the Vita standard next layer is also ground it's also reference it's a layer number four layer number five is also ground and then you have layer number six which is again signal only few signals are there but still I have taken care of the signal integrity and everything else another ground layer and this is the bottom layer so you got total eight layer top to bottom very appropriately routed very well designed and you can see ah, I do have a 3d model of the LPC connector so you see this only one and two three and four four rows row number C D G H and while while HPC connector has A to K a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K. Total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 rows. While LPC connector only have 4 rows. And these are only normal signals. For example, normal signals where you can drive SADS and everything else. But these are not GTY or GTH and everything else. So you, for GTY and GTS, you will need the FMC HPC breakout board. I also have designed HPC breakout board. I'll publish that board soon. But for now, this is the board. This is available for you. And this board is completely available on my website, www.circuitwell.com. This is shown here. Connectors are mounted on the both of the sides. So, it's you to, so that you can have a pass through. And you can connect another board if you want to on these LPC connectors. But for the economical reasons, in the reality, I have only soldered the bottom side of the connector and the upper side connector is not mounted that's why you see those exposed pad so on the schematic side there is not much going on you have fmc lpc terminal and fmc lpc socket which is on the top and the bottom and row a b e f there is no such thing as i so c d g h r lpc lanes while a b e f j k r hpc signals these are directly connectors. This is the EEPROM connected to 3.3 volt aux and uh, connected to STA and addresses are supposed to be like this. This A0 connects to GA1, A1 connects to GA0 and A2 is uh, connected to ground. And these are 1.27 millimeter header. These are normal Semtec header. There's nothing special. And there you have it. You have your uh, <coughs> board and PCB reviewed. Now I'll move back to the PCB. So I have turned on the board and let me measure the V adjust with reference to the ground I have set it to 1.8 volt and system controller on the ZC102 will accordingly adjust and you see I have set it to 1.8 volts and outputting it to 1.8 volts I will also show you the EEPROM content in a second so there is a already tool available online to generate those EEPROM configs you can also use Opal Kelly website, they also have online tool available for that. Many different boards support many different voltages on the VHS pin, but uh, ZCU102 only supports 1.2, 1.5 and 1.8 volts. Default is 1.8 volt. It, if the EEPROM is not present, it will output 1.8 volt. And if the EEPROM is present and the content is valid, then it will output 1.2, 1.5, 1.8, depending on what have been programmed on the EEPROM. I'll show you the EEPROM content. I'll show you the YML file as well and uh, we'll get started how so this is a program called FRUGY it's a config generator and it takes up 
a YML file and I'll show you one example file this kind of file from Opal Kali and this is the V adjust pin and it is set to 2.5 volts ZC102 does not support 2.5 volts and minimum output 2.3 maximum output 2.6 so many different boards support many different outputs maybe I'll show you another config file where is the loopback there is a loopback file the loopback file is from Semtech and it's minimum 1.1 volts or maybe it's for 1.2 volts and maximum is 1.2 volts so you can set whatever the output you want you just need to supply this install this tool in python and supply the appropriate yml file and this is how it generates the eprom file and you program that eprom you can once you have linux running on the zc102 you can also program so analog devices has this fmcf fmcfru utility as well it can also do a FRU dump and it can show you the voltages and what is what is supported what is not supported and it uses the directly the access the EEPROM on the Linux environment this is the Linux command and there is one more utility alternative to FRU GBY is this EEPROM generator you can say your manufacturer name here and choose the EEPROM size 2 kilobit and choose the voltages of a VHS voltage and everything else and then it can all show you there are clock configuration as well clock direction which direction is the clock is going and there are many other configurations and they also offer this nice little web environment I prefer this because it has this default configuration file everything else is also available on my github so that's it for this particular video and I'll do more experiment with this FMC board and then I'll show you how to interface a camera and uh, how to interface PCI and everything else so you do subscribe to www.circuitvalley.com you can visit my website for more interesting ideas projects and related to FPGA and there are many products available on the circuitvalley.com as well